I don't think this visit is safe for the president, said the VP Tom Cliff. I know, replied the head of security Ben Frank. But isn't that why we are here, gentlemen? We can't let anything happen to the president, can we? Well, I've tried my best, but he's as stubborn as a cow. No wonder the entire office hates him. Something should be done for the greater good, said Tom Cliff insultingly. He looked at the clock, got up, took a deep breath and continued. Anyway, it's awfully late now, gentlemen. I don't think any of my expertise is required in the president's security meeting, so have a good night. He picked up his coat and left the room. Ben Frank turned towards his deputy and winked. Suddenly, both the men started laughing their lungs out. A month later, the president's procession started from the assembly hall to the stadium. The procession received varied reactions. The supporters celebrated him while others held banners of hostility. There are always people who support and oppose. This has been the basis of society and will be held true till eternity. While the procession crawled at snail's pace, Ben called Tom to meet up in an abandoned building on the ninth floor. The entire procession could be seen clearly from up there. Ben dismissed his security and went to the location as asked. But just as he reached the ninth floor, his heart stopped as he heard the loudest gunshot. He peeked in and found Ben standing with a sniper in his arms. Sirens rang from all around the city. The president had just been shot. Tom stood still in shock. In the meanwhile, Ben took out his walkie-talkie and said, Hello, do you copy? This is Ben, head of security. The bullet came from the abandoned building in the east. Alpha team to report and seal the area quickly. I repeat, Alpha team to report and seal the area quickly. Tom turned around and started running. But unfortunately, he got caught by the Alpha team. Ben snuck from behind and ordered the men to arrest him. Tom screamed, No, Ben, no! Leave me alone! What is this? You can't frame me! Ben retaliated. What? Frame you? How dare you? You were caught here. We found the gun. Your car is here. And you were here when the president was shot. And of course, haven't we all heard your kind words for a president? Tom went even closer to Ben's ear and whispered, After all, something had to be done for the greater good. The End Hope you liked it. You can check out our podcast on Spotify, where we have already posted more than 10 tales under the name The Two Minute Storyteller. On YouTube, make sure to tune in next week, where I'll present you with another slice of life. Until then, farewell, bye-bye, and take care.